The other day, I heard a pregnant woman lamenting because she's experiencing ligament pain and she's been told she has to bear it because she can't have any painkillers in pregnancy. Is this true? There could be many reasons for this. It depends on the painkiller. For example, could it have any damaging effect on the baby? It also depends on the woman. Has she got any allergies? Maybe it could interact with some other medicine that she's taking already. But what about reasonably straightforward over-the-counter painkillers like ibuprofen or paracetamol? Can you use them for less severe or less urgent abdominal pain problems like ligament conditions? So in this video, let's look at the question. Can pregnant women have these simple painkillers? What is safe or not? But first, let's look at some conditions that are more likely to cause non-urgent, less severe abdominal or tummy pain when you're pregnant. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia. Welcome back to Ask Your Health. I'm a consultant in general practice and here we're going to look at all the different questions that can affect you and help you live a healthier life better life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Experiencing tummy pain, whether it's abdominal pain, stomach pain, pelvic pain, when you're pregnant is very common. Many times it's nothing to worry about. Sometimes though there are serious causes that need to be checked out. It's probably harmless if the pain is mild and goes away when you rest or if you change position. It's also likely to be harmless if it goes away after you have broken wind or farted um, or you've gone to the toilet to open your bowels. The pain could be dull or sharp and so most common examples are Ligament pain. A growing womb can lead to ligament pains. These are known as ligament pains because the ligaments are stretching to support your growing bump. They can feel like a sharp pain on one side of your tummy or the other. A good example is the one that we call round ligament pains. The round ligaments are tissues on either side of the womb which hold or anchor it to your pelvis. When your womb grows and stretches, usually from the second trimester, you may get spasms of those round ligaments on either side. That will likely happen if you change position too quickly or when you sneeze or cough or laugh. We can often ease this pain fairly easily and we'll discuss both medication and non-medication options for dealing with ligament pains like this. Other causes of non-urgent tummy or abdominal pain that a woman can experience when she's pregnant are linked to the effect of your hormones like progesterone which supports your pregnancy on your stomach and bowels when you're pregnant. So I'm talking about conditions like constipation, excess gastric acid or acid reflux and trapped wind. All of these develop because progesterone relaxes the muscles in the bowel and in the stomach so they're not working as actively as before and it can lead to sluggish bowel activity which makes you more likely to develop constipation, excess acid and trapped wind. Now, have you heard of SPD, which is symphysis pubis dysfunction? This is another form of ligament and joint pain. It refers to pain and other symptoms that you might develop when the joint between the left and the right pelvic bone becomes a little unstable. Usually, these bones and joints are held in place by ligaments so that the bones can't shift or move around excessively. In some situations like during pregnancy, those ligaments loosen so that the joint becomes flexible enough for the pelvic bones to widen during delivery. But this additional laxity and movement in the pelvis, even though it's for a good reason, can be painful for some women. And it could mean that your pelvic area hurts during your pregnancy or while you're in labor or after having the baby. The pain may come from the front of your pelvis, from the back, or from both front and back. While walking, you may even feel as if your pelvis is unsteady, a little loose or wobbly. Another type of tummy or abdominal pain that we consider non-urgent is Braxton Hicks contractions. And these are mild, irregular contractions that help prepare your body for the main event. They are sometimes called the pains of false labor and while they can be uncomfortable, they are usually never severe. So these are some causes of non-urgent abdominal or pelvic pains that a woman can have when she's pregnant. They're usually not a cause for concern, but 
you might need a painkiller to manage some of these conditions. So before we look at the painkiller specifically, if you experience severe pain or pain that's not getting better with rest or it's associated with other symptoms, for example, feeling dizzy, feeling very nauseous or vomiting, experiencing a very high temperature or fever or experiencing vaginal bleeding, you should seek urgent medical attention as it may suggest conditions like an ectopic pregnancy, miscarriage, preterm labor, placental abruption or preeclampsia, appendicitis or gallstones or urinary tract infection. All these can pose a serious risk to a pregnant woman and her baby and they need immediate medical attention. But for today, we're talking about non-severe or non-urgent abdominal or pelvic pain in pregnancy. And we're asking, can pregnant women have painkillers? What can you take to make yourself more comfortable? And I'd like to know if you've been pregnant before, what's been your experience of treating some of these non-urgent or severe pains, like from the causes I've talked about already? Did you have any medicines? Why or why not? And if you didn't have any medicines, what alternatives did you use? Did they work? Please share with us in the comment section. I want to say that it is old thinking to normalize the experience of pain while pregnant, especially now that we understand our bodies a lot better. Experiencing stress from pain as a result of some condition when you're pregnant is also negative and can impact both mom and the baby. Women should not suffer because we're having babies. So first, taking certain types of pain medication during pregnancy under a doctor's supervision is considered safe. It depends on the type of medication and a few other factors, like I said at the beginning. The most important thing is to be sure of the nature of the drug so it doesn't harm the baby or the mother and to be aware of how much is necessary so we're not taking an overdose and for how long do you need to have the medicine. Many women would rather not have any medicines when they are pregnant and that is perfectly understandable. But what if you need to have something to manage problems like excess acid or constipation or round ligament pain? There are non-drug options that you can use and will be unlikely to cause any harm to yourself or your baby. Examples if we're dealing with a ligament problem can be change your position slowly so you don't rush. If you're about to cough or sneeze or laugh, lean forward a little bit and support your bump with your hands so that your ligaments are not under strain. When lying down or sleeping, rest on your side with a pillow between your knees. Sleeping on both sides is generally fine. The left side is ideal because it helps with improved blood flow around your body. Other things are a warm bath, a hot water bottle, a hot pad or a hot cushion you can generally provide help with pain. You can also try antenatal yoga or learn gentle stretching exercises. These will help to boost your circulation and the flow of endorphins, happy hormones, which are also natural painkillers. For bowel problems, you can have specific medications that your doctor can prescribe to treat them. But for something like excess gastric acid, you could avoid things like too much processed food or eating very late at night to help to manage the function of your bowel. Still, some antacids or acid suppressant medicine can be prescribed to help ease your bowel and give you more comfort during your pregnancy. For constipation, making sure you're taking plenty of water, eating lots of fiber from fruits and vegetables, but gentle laxatives can also be prescribed by your doctor if you're really struggling. Remember, it's important that you're not struggling or straining with constipation as you could damage your pelvic floor. So the question, can pregnant women have painkillers? Yes, of course, when necessary. But we advise it should be under the supervision of your doctor who will check that it is suitable for both you and your baby. What over-the-counter pain medicines are okay if you have mild, non-urgent abdominal or pelvic pain in pregnancy, such as the ones we've just talked about? How about ibuprofen? We generally advise women to avoid ibuprofen when they are pregnant. Apart from its own side effects to the mother, it can be associated with harm to the growing baby. So that is not the first drug to reach for if you need something simple for non-urgent pain when you are pregnant. What about paracetamol? Paracetamol 
is safer to take during pregnancy compared to ibuprofen. Again, this should be under the care and supervision of your doctor. Studies on paracetamol when it's been taken at the right dose and for a reasonably short period of time to deal with whatever pain you're experiencing have not shown any significant effect on the baby. It's a mild painkiller, yes, but it can be effective for some of those conditions we've talked about in addition with the other non-drug options I mentioned. So let me know what you all think about whether a pregnant woman should be having simple painkillers like paracetamol when she's pregnant or she should just bear the pain. I'd love to hear back from you, but give this video a like. Please share with a friend. Do consider subscribing to the channel. Join the discussion in the community and I will see you in the next one.